China, the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick and your brain stops sticking. My first memory of Steve Kane is actually not meeting him, but seeing him at the back of the horseshoe. Always. He's um, just a genuine fan of music. He's one of those guys who actually likes and listens to music. He comes in and he buys four, five, six CDs, uh, a book, maybe a box set, and uh, always the, the latest issue of Mojo magazine. He's just always been so supportive and encouraging without being controlling. He's such a huge supporter of, of artists and artists, you know, being able to get what they deserve. Gives a shit about rock and roll. Uh, he cares that musicians get paid. He's honest, he's hardworking, he inspires all those that spend time with him. And he was a big fan of The Clash and a lot of bands that we respect and, uh, and that went a long way with us. He cares. He wants, you know, the world to hear about Canadian music. He wants Canadians to hear about Canadian music. He has acts internationally and domestic that have done tremendously well by sales accounts, but I think he's just building a legacy as, um, as a good person to work with. To have someone believe in you and what you're doing in this business is very, very important. We've always felt a sense of family, and you know, Steve's the head of that family. He is one of the, the people uh, out there that can credibly tell the, the Canadian music story. And his love for music, it's something that he devotes his whole being, his whole essence to. You know, he wears his heart on his sleeve in a good way. You just, you can't say anything bad about the guy. He drinks whiskey, <laughs> listens to rock and roll. When I met him, I thought he was some kind of weird hybrid with the Elvis haircut and the Buddy Holly glasses. A great record man, a very, very strong leader. Steve Kane's really a great executive. He's a student of the history of rock and roll. He's a lifer. He's started as a teenager working in record stores. But he also has these weird peccadillos. He only hires VPs with the name Steve. Steve had a deep knowledge and love of music. And I said to Steve, hey, would you consider working for a record label? Well, the rest is history. You became very, very informed as to why music is like it is. So many good times and worked so many great acts. Oh, did anyone watch a hood wink? Does it make you stop think? You think you're looking at Aquaman? On behalf of everybody, of all your friends, at Warner Music Germany and Warner Music Central Europe, congratulations. You guys are the best in the business and it's all because you're such a great leader. Thanks for all the help along the way. We have always called you Big Daddy Kane. Now quit, now retire and get out of here. Yeah, on a high note. Congratulations, Steve. I love you, buddy. Congratulations. Your induction into the Hall of Fame is well deserved. You're in good company. You are one of the most charismatic, hardworking, funny, good complexion, great hygiene uh, record people that I've ever met. You got that award they give all the old guys when they hang in long enough. You are such a supportive and fun and creative guy to work with and you've been such a champion to me for over the years. You're a genius. You are. No one rocks glasses like you. Cheers. Well done, music man.